Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is bang that like button like it's Sydney Sweeney in a sundress, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, the Red Pill Ring. The Freemasons have their own rings, and now so do we. When another MGTOW sees your gold, silver, or bronze ring, he's going to know exactly what it means, and that both of you have the same value system. Now all we have to do is make a secret handshake. Please visit redpillring.com today to get your precious, precious ring. Do it fast before Gollum with boobs stops you. And now on with the memes. Number one, Bumble's new CEO reconsiders the dating app's signature feature, which is women making the first move and says it feels like a burden. Looks like Bumble and the other dating apps are running out of chance, and women don't want to make the first move on a chud. Once women on Bumble connect with all the chats and get rejected by them, then they go to another app. It's also crazy making an app encouraging women to actively seek out men when women are naturally passive. Bumble stock has crashed from 75 down to 10 bucks. Up next is Sarah, and she says that she needs love. She's already hopped into bed with 60 guys in two semesters. She's also ready to settle down after only riding the rooster roller coaster for less than a year. Jesus will forgive her, of course, but I won't. I get sick just thinking of all the STDs she's probably got. I've got some bad news for her. I don't think there'll be a return journey to get what she wants. Number three, Carol Baum, a top Hollywood producer, says that Sydney Sweeney isn't pretty. This coming from a bitter ghoul. Older women hating on younger women is instinctual because they're bitter that they're old and don't like the competition. There's a reason she's behind the camera instead of in front of it. Sydney is pretty, but she's overhyped. Because with all the woke, unattractive female leads out there, even the slightest amount of beauty stands out. Moving on, this Uber driver dropped a woman off at Walgreens for 20 minutes, and she left the kid with him in the back seat. The kid keeps calling him daddy, and he's just laughing, saying, please hurry back, Tarika. If she doesn't come back in 10 minutes, then he's probably liable for child support. Then again, she ain't coming back, my dude. That's your African kid now. At least the guy he calls daddy now is working and spending time with him, unlike his real dad. Number five is Wojak, and he's trying to be an upstanding citizen by returning this woman's wallet. She immediately thinks he's attracted to her and that this is his way of hitting on her. Next time Wojak finds a woman's wallet, he'll just take whatever cash is in there for himself and throw it in the trash. When you're polite to women, they treat you like a predator. Why even bother because she's just trying to trigger you for the drama? Up next is a woman that betted 300 lads in one year, but still can't find a man that meets her expectations. How about accepting the fact that you don't fit the expectations of a high-value male? Especially now with such an outrageous notch count. The whole town knows she's the town bicycle now, so all men know what to do. Besides, the sex bots are coming, pun intended, and they will outperform any woman. Someone go tell her. Number seven is Yem, and she's upset because 22-year-old guys are giving up on dating and relationships and instead relying on working girls. When the lover bots eventually show up, any instinct to go for real women will completely disappear. Today, only smart men don't get married. In the future, even the dumb guys won't be getting married either. Then women will talk down to us and shame us when we won't give them any attention. Moving on, this woman smashed 122 college students in three weeks and explains how she did it. Woman explains how she gives water to 122 men dying of thirst in the desert. It's a real Scooby-Doo mystery how she was able to do it. But this isn't a flex. It's her advertising that she's a stunning and brave 304 with gone as herpesipilates. Here's the difference between a woman waiting for true love and the YOLO type like this one. Number 9 is Orifice.ai, a site that creates AI toys for guys and AI girlfriends that'll put women and lonely fools models out of business one day. Well, if men can be women these days, then so can AI. Women are afraid, though, because they're now starting to see the writing on the wall. Up next, remember that choosing your wife is the most important decision you can make. The wisest choice is not to choose any of them and not to make a choice. But if I had to pick one, it would be Brittany because she probably wouldn't divorce you. Instead, she's going to do the humane thing and end you while you sleep. But seriously, marrying one is like walking a wolf in a wedding dress down the aisle. Number 11 apparently working out is fat phobic now. You hate fat people so much that you put effort into not looking like them. That's a picture of me at the bottom when I hear that, because the more muscular I get, the more I appear to hate them. It's all part of the population agenda. They want you fat and dying young and unhealthy. 
But seriously, how do we know that fat people just aren't thin phobic? I believe that everyone should be as fit as they can be. Moving on, which do you prefer? The local Miss America or some random mugshot of a teacher that got caught in the back seat with her students? Local Miss America looks like her head is on backwards. Either that or her chest is as flat as an ironing board. Maybe she's Gorlock the Destroyer's girlfriend or something. Number 13, STDs in women are skyrocketing. And officials think that racism and misogyny may be to blame. But it's really all about women refusing to take accountability, and women's STDs are the fault of incel virgins that haven't even seen a silky smooth peace leave in their entire lives. But we all know that it's the triple-digit sausage counts that's really causing it. They'll just never admit it. Up next, the new Lilo and Stitch live-action character prompts a debate about colorism. But what about the Black Bell, Tinkerbell, Ariel, and Off-White, Snow White? Apparently, wokeness goes one way. The nerve of people casting an actual Polynesian girl for a Polynesian character. No one would have complained if she was ugly, though. This meme with Disney asking if Snow White comes in black is absolutely timeless. Number 15 is a gorgeous model named Rosalind saying that if you can't buy her a Range Rover and give her $6,000 a week, then you can't date her. She's not even worth 6 bucks a week with a Kia Sorento. Why do guys have to pay so much when Tyrone gets to hit it for free in the back of a stolen Buick? It looks like the hoflation out there is getting real, and gravity has hit her pretty hard. I think she needs some long socks for those things. Moving on, remember that behind every strong woman is a child support check, or alimony money. Yes, and half your stuff as well. The women without all those things are strong and independent, so long as men pay for affirmative action jobs, the welfare state, and just about everything else, because we're the only net taxpayers out there. Not to mention lonely fools, simps, women's shelters, and the draft. Number 17, we have a super base guy that forges his wife's signature and then divorces her without her even knowing. Most men really wish it was that easy. I know it's fraud and you shouldn't do this, but that really is some Darth Sidious level trickery there. Up next, Clown World just became a three-ring circus. Two trans swimmers competing against each other for the hotly contested women's Ivy League 100-meter race. I'm really glad to see the trans women taking all the athletic scholarships and awards from biological women. Thus dies the feminist myth of equality. If men wanted to oppress women, they would go trans and take everything away from them. Maybe that's what's going on here. Number 19 in the 1800s, Australia had a rabbit plague and they eventually got rid of them by making fake rabbits that were more attractive than the real ones. The ones that were attracted to the fake ones didn't breed, and the population was thus reduced. That's what sex bots are going to do eventually. Moving on, the defense forces in Ireland are going to undergo training in gender and diversity bias after concerns were raised about their masculine culture. Maybe instead of boomsticks, they can fire pronouns at each other instead. Don't worry, military drones and robots are here, and girls will be operating most of them. But seriously, the military should be concerned about a lack of masculine culture and not the opposite. Number 21 is the difference between women in 1942 and now. Women now are looking like Howard the Duck. Either that or they're having hemorrhoids surgically attached to their face, or they tried giving a BJ to a beehive. There are probably guys out there that think to themselves, I can fix them. The two at the bottom believe that their babies will probably come out looking like this. Up next, the guy's vaxxed wife refuses to accept that he signed up for their dog sitter's Lonely Fools account, by mistake, because he was trying to Venmo her for watching their Dalmatians. Now this simp can't even stop crying. He'd never do something like this, of course. But I'd be more worried about my dog if she's taken the dog pill or not. I like how he mentioned that his wife was also vaxxed. He's got to try and get people on his side somehow. How did he even know that she had the account in the first place? Number 23, 60% of husbands say their best friend is their wife. But only 30% of wives say that their husband is their best friend. They only want you to think that you're their best friend, so you tell them everything. You should be her lover and not her friend. If you're her friend, congratulations, you've received a demotion. Forget about best friends these days. A wife isn't your friend at all. She's like a fox in the hen house, and the chickens are your cash. Moving on is Amanda, a trans woman that's a lesbian looking for only natural-born women, please. Basically, another trans-maxing incel that can't get a girlfriend, so he takes hormones to become a she. This is probably the fate of 20-30% to 30 of men going forward, doing it to get access to a biological woman. They seem to have failed to find a partner as a man, so they have a second go at it in the female form. 
I just hope they're smart enough to freeze their testicle cream before sterilizing themselves. Number 25 and the last one looks like Antifa now has a tank division. Many of them are so large that they can't fit into conventional footwear and have to go barefoot or in extra wide sandals. Don't laugh, because this is what many other members from the division are going to look like rolling and roaring down the block at you. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making more, then donate at the PayPal subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.